everyone. Thank you so much for tuning into Carol's Daily Sauce. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And please don't forget to click on as I am participating in Vlogtober. In my participation of Vlogtober, I will be doing videos, face videos, as well as video recordings. I do both. Um, it just depends on the day and depends on how I feel. I actually was going to do this one as a face video, but I decided against it. I'm cold. Um, it's kind of early in the morning. My voice sounds stank, you know. So go ahead and share the video out. We are discussing the part two of Malik Yoba actually coming out, uh, coming out with the information that he is attracted to transgender Malik Yoba indicating coming out that he is attracted to transgender women. Now, um, I don't know if you all are very, very aware of all the different terminologies, all of the different sexual preferences, as I am not. I have learned a lot in just looking into the story. For instance, cisgender. Never heard anything about being cisgender. Cisgender is a woman who is and was born a woman at birth and identifies with the fact that she is a woman. That is her gender. Okay, so long story short, um, as I stated before that um, Malik uh, did several interviews with several different radio shows about his coming out. He says that he had and felt a self-exposed shame that can be associated with the fact that he is in fact attracted to transgender women. Anyway, amid his coming out with his confession or his coming out with his uh, saying that he is attracted to transgender uh, women, allegations surface over the internet that Malik solicited uh, sex from transgender minors um, and this right here has caused uh, Malik to go pretty much in an outrage. He is, he is just definitely in an outrage. This is one of the reasons that he stormed off of uh, the interview with the gentleman um, that was interviewing him from The Root, um, indicating that this is his life. But If you are not living your truth, okay, and you come out with half truths, you can only blame yourself. Now, what am I saying? What I'm saying is this. I've read, I've seen in several publications and interviews, News One, the Grio, The Root, Ballad, The Breakfast Club, several different radio shows and publications of Malik Yoba indicating that he is attracted to transgender women. If in fact you are you have to live your truth. You should live your truth. Now, he did say that he has been exposed to the shame that is associated with that. I could only imagine. OK, I could only imagine. What I don't understand is if, in fact, the interviewer at the root and you had a meeting the day before filming, you discussed four hours, what would be allowed to be said, what you would be willing to answer. First of all, why would it take four hours for you to indicate what it is you would and would not answer? 
That to me makes no sense. It shouldn't take four hours unless you are actually trying to drill in someone's head. Don't make this mistake because if you do, I'm going off on you. Now, I, I've been interviewed before. Not interviewed like stars. I am in no way a star. I'm a star in my life, but I'm not a Hollywood star. Um, a lot of things has happened amid this. Um, Malik Yoba uh, had a fraternity, and in the fraternity, there is a group called the Youth Leadership Program. He has been removed. He has been removed from the leadership uh, program. Um, I also read in one publication that the authorities in New York are indicating to anyone who has allegations about Malik Yoba um, soliciting them um, as minors to come forward because charges could be brought against him. Um, Charlemagne the God, uh, who is on the Breakfast Club, says that he agree, and I agree with his statement. I agree wholeheartedly with his statement. I really, really do. I don't understand the trans world, but I do understand their right to exist. Let me explain, because I am a Christian. So let me explain. I believe that everyone has the right to exist. However, I don't always understand transgender. I don't always understand the gay, lesbian, queer, LG, bisexual, LGBT. I don't. I don't understand that. Um, I know that a lot of people indicate they were born like this. I know that a lot of people indicate that it's just their preference. I don't understand it. Um, am I in a place to say yay or nay about it? Well, like I said, all my subscribers are welcome here in my first video. I, I don't judge anybody by how they choose to live their life. Because what really happened on one of the interviews that I listened to and viewed, I believe it was on The Breakfast Club, there was a caller that called in and her exact question to the panel was, well, what about the laws of the land? And people were, well, what do you mean, what about the laws of the land? And she had to break it down and she basically said, well, what does God say? Okay, if we are talking about what God says, I go strictly by the Bible. But if we are talking about me and you having a YouTube relationship, if we are talking about me and you being friends, if we are talking about me and you doing a collaboration, if we are talking about me and you working together, I would by no means necessary judge you for your own personal choices. I just wouldn't because that's not my right. Um, there is a scripture in the Bible that says he that would he who is without sin, let him cast the first stone. So I'm just going to leave that at that. Many stars and celebrities um, are speaking out about Amelie Gilba and they are making a lot of comments and things about him coming out and confessing his attraction to trans women. Um, one thing that I really, really, really find very, very interesting is Malik did indicate that he enjoys being an actor. He indicated that playing these roles is making his career grow. Now, I've had conversations about this in the past with my husband, and the thing that I really don't understand, um, and this happens a lot with black comedians, uh, Flip Wilson back in the day, Richard Pryor, um, a lot of the older comedians um, dressed up as women when they were acting, and they went very, very far. 
Um, I wonder why in a world where we already have women, why we have to use men as women. Jamie Foxx um, even did it. Um, Eddie Murphy, Medea, you know, all of them have act and did acting scenes in which they have worn dresses. Who is the comedian that Dave Chappelle, Dave Chappelle ain't putting on a dress. I mean, they tried to get Dave Chappelle to do it. Dave Chappelle was like, no, ma'am, no, ma'am, no, sir. I'm leaving this country. This is not going to work for me. But that's another, another, um, that's a whole nother bandwagon. So let's go ahead and talk about Mariah Ebony Lopez. Mariah Ebony Lopez is a young lady who jumped on the bandwagon when Malik put the post onto Twitter. From what I can understand, because the post has been removed, um, there was a, I believe, transgender young man who was in a relationship with a young lady and ended up committing suicide and based on what his girlfriend says, had plans of killing her too. Um, as a result of being unhappy, but the girlfriend left. And I assume when she left, he ended up killing himself. I did refer to him as a he, and I believe he's a transgender, trans transgender woman, but uh, he was male. Um, this is what brought the whole Malik Yoba thing out to the forefront, um, that troubled him, that troubled him. And he was just speaking his truth about how we should be able to live the way we want to live, the choices that we want to make. But unfortunately, we live in a world where people make fun of you because of your weight. We live in a world where people make fun of you because of your handicap. We live in a world where people make fun of you because of the color of your skin, maybe because they think your eyes are crossed, uh, maybe because they think you are snag a tooth or your gap in your tooth is uh, too big. People make fun of people all the time. And I think the most important thing is knowing who you are and standing your ground in the face of anything and everybody. And that is sometimes hard, especially in the case of being a um, person from the LGBT community. Um, hate crimes and all types of things um, have happened um, as a result of people wanting to live their life. So, Mariah Ebony Lopez um, is a transgender male. And at the age of 13, Mariah was a prostitute in New York and claims that Malik Yoba solicited Mariah for sex. The request that was being made at the time from Malik to Mariah was that Yoba was a requesting unprotected sex with Mariah. Malik does deny each and every allegation. But then we go to Terry Vega. And Terry Vega is the mother of Malik Yoba's children. I believe he has a son that is either 21 or 22, and he has a daughter that's 20. Terry Vega is the mother of his children. Once Malik came out with the fact that he is in fact attracted to women, including transgender women, Terry took to Instagram and I will be inserting the actual post that Terry posted um, to Instagram supporting 
uh, Malik. It's either Instagram or Twitter. But Terry actually was supporting Malik and informing him that she has always been supportive of him and his choices. And she mentioned, even with your new or current trans relationship, when I read that, I was like, uh oh, now, Carmen Carrera. This is the transgender woman that Malik Yoba is working with for this project and the awareness of the LGBT community. Terry was very upset about the post that Malik put out because she said that he could have informed his children, he could have told her, and he could have let them know about his plans to discuss his coming out to the public prior to them finding out on Instagram. Now, supposedly, and I'm quite sure, this coming out by Malik Yoba has caused negative issues for his children, for his son and daughter. Terry, their mother, went on to say that she, as well as the children, already keep so much a secret of what really goes down with their family dynamic. And so she was very perturbed that Malik felt the need to come out and not inform them. What I found in looking on the internet is there is a boatload of stars that have spoke on this situation. Lord Jamar spoke on it. John Sally spoke on it. It's so many people that spoke on it. And the bottom line is this, if in fact Malik Yoba is attracted to transgender women, he's just attracted to transgender women, does that mean that he is gay? Well, it just depends. And it actually depends on his choice. We can say all day and all night what we want. If in fact, whomever he is having relations with, sexual relations with, if in fact that person has not completed the entire process to have their organs redone, and they have male organs, in my opinion, yeah, I would consider that being gay because that would mean Malik Yoba, who appears to be a male, would be having relationships, sexual, I'm assuming, with a transgender woman who has not, or maybe has transitioned into what it is or morphed into what it is that they want to be. Um, when you say transgender woman, no one is walking around with a sign on their forehead saying, I am a transgender woman and I have completed the entire process. It's not our business. It's not our business. What goes on behind one another's private doors in their sexual life and sexual relationships is definitely their business. I think that Mr. Yoba <laughs> opened up a can of worms. I, I feel like he damaged his relationship with his uh, baby's mother. He damaged his relationship with um, really a lot of people. And He's paying for it now. He, he really, really is. He's losing a lot of things and he's paying for it now. Um, it's a really, really, really touch and go situation. 
I'm not going to give my opinions on what I think of it um, because they're just my opinions, you know. Um, yes, I am. This is my page. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. So as I said before, if someone has completed the process, uh, a male has completed the process of morphing into a total and complete female, had the operation and everything, is taking the pills so that they can't have the deeper voice, um, maybe has had breast transplants and all of those things, um, they're still, to me, a male. They are still, to me, a male because that's what they were born. It's just like if you were to lose weight, if you were overweight and you were to lose weight, um, at one time, you were on a diet, you lost weight, and now you're extremely thin. At one time, you were still overweight, okay? That's just factual. That'll never change. The same goes for one's gender. If you are born a female, until the day you die, you will still be a female. Hence, one of the reasons why, even though a person is a transgender woman, that person will never have a period like a regular woman. That person may have breasts, but it's an implant. But for the rest of their life, they will probably have to take pills to prevent the male hormones from kicking in and doing what they were originally intended to do. Is Malik wrong for his preference? To each his or her own. That's all I'm going to say. To each his or her own. It's just like lesbian and gays. It's just like lesbian and gays and, and the uproar that happened um, as far as marriages. I mean, it's all our own individual preferences. Do I agree with that? I'm not going to even get into that. As I said before, oh, you guys, I'm going to have to cut that out. Um, you know, everybody's welcome here. I enjoy all of my subscribers. I enjoy everybody who supports me. And I don't want to get into a back and forth um, disagreement about transgender this, transgender that, gay this, lesbian that. Um, I love all people. God loves all people. He may not like all the things that any of us do, but he does love all of us. And if he is willing and able to love all of us, then I know that I can. With that being said, please like, comment, and subscribe. Go ahead and put some questions in the comment section. Go ahead and tell me what you think, what you think about part one and part two of Malik Yoba coming out. I'll talk to you all real soon. Be blessed to be encouraged, be strengthened, be empowered, and know that you are somebody regardless of your gender. I'll talk to you all real soon. Bye-bye.